Fall Lantern collaboration is hosted by Kenya's Decor Corner. To see her channel along with the other creators in this playlist, click the hashtag Fall Lantern Collab 2021 in the description box below. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I'm Steph Storm. I'm really excited to do today's video for you because I love lanterns. I have them all over the house. I have all different styles. I use them inside, I use them outside. And also, I especially love using lanterns in the fall and winter months because they bring such a warm glow to the space and they make you feel all cozy. Now, be sure to stay with me to the end of this video because not only am I going to decorate a lantern for you, but I'm actually going to start off by making my own lantern, then I'll decorate it, and then I'm going to show you a very unique way on how to use this particular lantern. So you're going to want to stick around. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a very inexpensive project. I'm starting off with some frames that I got from the Dollar Tree. These are about the either the 3x5 or you could even use the 5x7 size frames. I've already disassembled these frames because I had used them for a previous project and so I'm basically going to be repurposing these frames to make the new lantern for you today. All you have to do is just pop off the back of the picture frame it usually has the little kickstand that easily peels right off. And don't throw this away because we're going to use this. We're going to reuse this in the same project. After you take the frame apart, then you're just going to, you know, take out that little glass insert. And this is pretty dirty, so we're going to clean that up first. And then you're left with the existing frame. Now, I'm going to make two of these, so I needed a total of eight picture frames all together because I'm going to use four of these frames for each of the lanterns. Uh, these are gold so it's not really my color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these outside, I'm going to spray paint them, and I'm going to spray them inside and outside. And then I'll bring them back in, we're going to get the glass cleaned up, and I'll show you the next steps after that. I'll show you two different looks for this lantern, so I'll spray the first four frames in charcoal gray. And the other four frames in white. While the frames were drying, I cleaned the glass. So while the frames are drying, I thought I'd share this with you. You don't have to use dollar store frames if you don't want to. I always like to start off with a cost-effective way to make projects like this so that it's budget-friendly for everyone. But really, you can use frames from anywhere you like. You can pick up some frames from the thrift store. You could even buy brand new frames from a retail store. I think that the more ornate your frames are, the more interesting your lanterns will turn out to be. Ooh, that just gave me a really good idea. I'll share that with you in another video. But anyway, if you do decide to use the dollar store frames, let me just caution you that while you are cleaning your glass, you want to be very careful because this glass is really thin and if you press too hard on it while you're trying to scrub it, it will crack on you. Also because it is so thin, the edges are super sharp. So you want to be careful not to cut yourself as well. I'm using a silver metallic adhesive trim tape to create an X pattern on the glass. I'll be doing this on four pieces. With the other four pieces, I made this pattern of squares. Now I didn't measure, but if you'd like your squares to be precise, you could certainly do that. Here you can see I'm just using a little bit of hot glue in all four corners so that I can lightly press the glass inserts back into the frames and I'll do this for all four frames. To give this lantern a more permanent hold, I'll be using E6000, which takes a little bit longer to dry. I will also use some hot glue, which is gonna give me an instant hold while I set it all together. 
two pieces of the frames will be on the inside and two pieces of the frames will be on the outside when you create the box. Try to line up your edges as best you can, but just know that when you're using dollar store frames, it's not going to be perfect because all of those frames are slightly irregular. Another thing I like about using lanterns in my decor, whether it's for myself or for my clients, is that lanterns are basically universal. It doesn't matter what your design style is. You could be modern, contemporary, you could be farmhouse, you could be mid-mod, coastal, it doesn't matter. There's a lantern style out there for you. To decorate the lanterns, I painted some small pumpkins, some white and some gray. My supplies are ready to assemble. Gray pumpkins, white pumpkins, gold pine cones. I took all the stems off and painted those gray. I have some Velcro and some white satin ribbon. I used hot glue to put the pumpkins on the ribbon. One piece of Velcro on the ribbon and the other piece on the bottom of the lantern. This is how they look so far. Let me know in the comments which color you like better, the dark gray or the white. Now one option for styling your lantern is to put the ribbon of pumpkins on the inside of the lantern with a battery operated candle like this. Or you could be really creative and use your lantern as a pendant light. I made these with the paper mache technique some years ago. All you need is the wire and socket kick. I found this one at Ikea. This is a great alternative if you want to add extra lighting to a space without wall fishing. It's renter friendly and it looks better when you staple the wire to the wall and paint the wire to the wall color and the ceiling color so that it will blend in. You'll get that decorative pendant look without it being hardwired. And I love the shadows that this one casts on the wall. So before I put up the new lantern, I'll take the old one down. To get the wire inside the lantern, put a small hole in the bottom with a slice. Once inside, use a strong adhesive to glue the cardboard back down. So far, so good. And here it is decorated for fall with our little pumpkins. I used Velcro so that I could easily change the pumpkins to lemons in the spring. If you like these ideas, remember to give this video a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. If you want to add a handle to your lantern, you can do so by attaching either a piece of nautical rope, a wire, or a metal chain. Thanks for watching. 
I'm Steph Storm, and you'll see me next time.